In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a Linux-based operating system. I'm also gonna show you in this video how to boot it off of a USB drive. Um, this way you're able to keep your current OS on your system, but yet you're able to use this live one to test an operating system mount to see if you like it or not. And if you choose to install it, you can. And I wanna say welcome to the channel. This is one of the first Linux-based videos on this channel I share with Vet gaming um, he's a good friend of mine and we're going to work together and making this channel really cool and adding linux stuff also if you're curious and all the stuff in the background all this hacking tools go ahead and follow my channel i break these tools down in my videos and i use them to show how vulnerable we actually really are when it comes to wi-fi testing penetration testing and etc things first make sure you have secure boot turned off so you got to get into your bios you got to hit one of the f keys and uh, for me it's uh, f10 to get into my bio settings you're going to go to system configuration, you're going to click on boot options, and you're going to make sure that secure boot is disabled or turned off. I already have it turned off because I've been doing this stuff for a while now, but usually on default it's turned on. It will prevent you from booting off of a USB drive here or doing an installation. So. Nevertheless, just wanted to make sure you guys understood that. Um, the next step is that we're gonna reboot this again after we save the settings. So we're going to exit. So I'm gonna hit F10 to exit. Wanna save our settings. We're gonna go yes because we disabled secure boot. Should stop. Next thing you need to do is download Rufus. Rufus, pay attention. Do not hit the big buttons that say download. Don't pay attention to those stupid things because you end up downloading things you don't wanna download. You're just gonna scroll down to right here. It should say Rufus 4.4 EXE standard, Windows 64. Download that one, should be the top one. Just download that one. And you're gonna see it download there, click on it. It's gonna ask you for, do you wanna make changes to your advice? You're gonna say yes. All right, now you should see the application. So at the top bar is gonna be your storage device. So now this is a good time to plug it in. Uh, for me, I'm gonna see when I plug mine in, it's already gonna see Kali Linux on it. I'm just gonna rewrite over this one just for the purpose of this video um just keep in mind when you do this stuff it formats the usb drive so if you have any sensitive stuff on you don't want to lose don't use that one i would recommend using a brand new one or one you don't care about ruining because once you format it it's like a brand new one so just be careful just know that's what's going to happen when you do this process um select that fast drive you can see mine there um, now for the second step, you need to get the ISO image of Kali Linux to install onto that USB device. So you go ahead and type in Kali Linux, click on the Kali Linux page here. Um, it should look like this if you did it correctly. Um, you're going to go down to the bottom where it says live boot. That's where you want to click. So click on live boot and then you just do the recommended one. It, it's to be the one that pops up right in the middle. Just click on that guy and you should be good to go. Let that download. So you're going to go back to Rufus and you're going to select where it says boot selection. You're going to click on that and then click on the live ISO that you just downloaded. So click on that. Okay, so if you did it correctly in the boot selection, you should see your ISO image that you downloaded recently. Um, now you're gonna hit, click the start button and it's a couple pop-ups that are gonna come up. Just click okay. It's gonna warn you about formatting your USB drive. You're gonna lose everything. Just hit okay. We talked about that earlier and just hit the start button. And now we wait. So giving you a heads up, this should take probably like 20 minutes. So right now is a good time to go grab a cup of coffee because you probably need it just like I need it. And I'll get back to you. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, I'm back. I have my cup of coffee. So now when it's done, it should say ready. So now you're just gonna eject the USB drive. It's always a good common practice to do it the right way. If you just pull the USB drive, you have risk of corrupting it or breaking it somehow. Just, just do it this way, it's safer. Go ahead and click on eject it should give you a little thing saying it's okay to unplug it now unplug it and now take it over to your computer and then we're gonna hit f9 for me it's f9 because we got to get to our boot option now so you gotta make sure we get to the boot option i mean it might yell at me okay so now is you boot options so now we're in our boot manager we're gonna scroll down to our flash drive usb hard drive we'll click on that Okay, so this is the Kali installation. Okay, cool. So uh, I, I I mixed up my uh, flash drives here. I got a whole bunch of them. But um, this is the Kali one. So that's good. So we can see we can do either a live boot where we just use the operating system off the USB drive or we can do the full installation. So let's go. Let's see what an installation looks like. Live system. Actually, let's do live system. I think you can boot off, do a full install off of the live boot if you decide to do that. So you can see a live 
boot off of the flash drive. So again, the OS on here is Parrot OS, but for you would be maybe Windows will be on this device, and now you're booting off of this guy right here. So your operating system is running off of this, and it's using your hardware on your device, which is nice, again, for two reasons. One, you could keep all your settings on your main computer and just play with operating systems to see which one works best for you. So it would take a minute for this to load up. Usually the live boots are pretty fast, so just give it a second. All right. So now we are in our operating system. So this is basically the full operating system. Um, so you can't do the full install from here, but you can play with all the tools in here. It's a good way to understand and get familiarized with the operating system. Um, you can start terminal for the first time, sudo. I don't know. Well, you can test out operating systems before even installing it. So if you like this one, you would go back to the boot option and it will say install Kali and you just follow the prompts um, and then go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this out. I'm gonna let this thing boot. All right, it just booted up and now I'm logging into my local hard drive here. And that's it, and there's the USB. So now that's my different operating system. That's the one that's installed locally. This is Parrot Security OS. So if you wanna try out Linux, the best thing to do is these bootable USBs. Again, I have a full tutorial on my channel, as well as this video should help you get started. Um, and this is great, again, if you wanna to get to know Linux and without having to damage your computer, just a little live boot things here. So. Hope that helps. Um, I got, there's going to be plenty more uh, Linux videos posted on this channel. This is like the pilot video, really. And uh, I'm excited for the future. So, again, if you're looking for cybersecurity stuff, go ahead and follow my channel. Uh, link will be in the description where I get to play with all these cool toys. Um, and for now, I'll see you in the next one.